M0FXB, welcome to my channel, SDS200 scanner, and we're in the UK and we're going to import an airport file. First thing we'll do is go to this Facebook group and go to more and then files, and we can see the files here. Scroll down and you're going to see one called Airband HP. Click that, click it again. Thanks, Dave, for this, and we've got Airband here. So, okay, you can see the Airband there. Next thing we're going to do is connect our scanner to the PC and you'll, an E will appear on the front. Push the E and it will say USB mass storage. So you're all connected now. And then I, I definitely recommend you save, you know, save, make sure you've got a backup of anything you're doing if you're going to make any changes. So we're all connected and we can read and write. So we go scanner and for now we'll read from the scanner as well. Click OK. Click it. Yes. Remember about the backup thing. OK, and it's reading from the scanner. We're going to click copy and replace PC. Remember, you've got a backup, so it's not a problem. So OK, you've read from the scanner. And what we want to do is add this HPE file. So we're going to go file. Then we're going to go import HPE from favorite lists. We're going to click favorite list here and we're going to go OK. Now it gives us the option. And you can see I've downloaded that file many times to double click and select the HPE file we've done and it's going to be here and if you double look double click look they're all there lots and lots of airports around the UK and we can double click to, to you know get that out of sight if you want but anyway that's it that's all we need to do now we're going to go scanner and right to scanner and click OK now click force right database click OK and it's going to write to scanner and when it's done that, we are going to go and have a look at the scanner. So back over to the Uniden SDS200. Okay, so we're at the radio. Let's see if we can find it. We're going to go menu, go to set scan selection, select list to monitor. And we're going to turn everything off except for our favorites, which is on. Back out and it will now load our favorites. Now, if you don't see it straight away, click system. No, nope. click channel. There you are. It's appeared. We have system at the top. We can change airports. We have department. I'm going to go to Bristol Airport because that's where I'm near. And then we're going to have a listen with a bit of luck. Get a good antenna connected. We should see some traffic. So I I am about ten miles from Bristol. You can set different lights to flash if you want to. You'll go into the channels and make changes. But right now, let's just stay on the ground for a bit and see if we can. Pretty sure I heard tower just now. Let's wait a sec. There you go. There's... That's the tower. Now you may be in a different part of the world, so go to departments. Now we've got near us, we have got Cardiff. Let's see if we get anything. So there's Cardiff. Press channel, no, press it again. Turn channel. And you ask, oh, we want Cardiff, don't we? So let's go back to department, back to Cardiff. Is that going to let me just, yeah, that's better. Look, Cardiff Tower. I don't know if we'll even get Cardiff from here, but it, we might get it. There's something. Oh, that's the information again from Cardiff. So that's it really, I thought I'd show you, have a little play. The files come from Facebook and we're just playing around importing. The thing about the UK is with with the UK, you have to pretty much import everything you need and then create your favorites lists. In America, you just press zip services, enter, put in a zip code, let's say New York, 
enter. That's the yes button. Yes again. And it's going to load the whole of New York. And I'll show you that now. And it's just starting to load it now. There you go. And it, it's straight away loaded New York. And it's, and it's going through it now already. And if I was in America, I'd be like, wow, look at all this that I can listen to. It's amazing. Okay, but in the UK, we can't do that. So if I'm from a ham background, so why get a scanner? Well, what I like about a scanner is that it will pretty much pick up everything, you know, like marine band, air band, military, shops, business, and so on and so on. So it's a great toy just to sit there in front of you. You don't have to buy a super duper one like this. You can buy a little handheld. Now I've got this one here and it's brilliant. It just works great. It's just a, a 125XLT. I've also got a base station one similar to it, and it was under a hundred pound for the base station. And we're just on the rubber duck here. I don't know if it will pick anything up from here. And it's got volume and squelch. And it's really fun to use, chargeable batteries. So anyway, back to the Uniden. Go to channel. Let's see if we can find my. How about system? I'm trying to find the. There it is. There we've got amateur radio here. Let's go menu. Set scan selection. Select list to monitor. We're monitoring favorites and the full database. If you can turn that on, you can turn other favorites on as well. I think that's enough for now. The main thing about this video was importing a HPE file. Every time I look at this, I want to push something else. Look at it scanning. You push hold, press F, press one. And then what I've done is I've set all these buttons to have scans. So we've got air band. And the more you press, it turns on all the banks. Each button is a bank. What not to... One to naught. Where are we missing there? Naught and then four. So now it's going to scan everything. But if you push them again, you deselect them. So number three is flashing now up here. Deselect. Now it's just CB bands. We can deselect number one, which is air band. Naught looks like it's not been customized. Then number four, two. The few there that haven't been customized. What else can we select? Turn off naught. We've got that one there, Hubnet. You get the idea. The more you select, they light up here and you can hear them and see them. If you, like five is flashing now, turn off five, it disconnects it. It's only scanning six, seven, eight, and nine. You get the idea, it's all bad. And if you see something you like, you press hold. Turn it down. Click enter and it's going to add it to a quick frequency save. You just go enter and it adds it. Oh, it's saying it knows it's already got it. So I'm just going to say, and, and remember, no is here. So having great fun. Bye for now. 7-3, all the best.